The alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei was victorious at Chibi. The tantalizing prize of total control slips from Cao Cao's fingers, and he is forced to return in defeat to Xu Chang, where he works to recover. Now is the time to chip away at Cao Cao's overwhelming advantage. Sun Quan makes preparations to expand from Jiandong. Liu Bei's strategist will also not waste this opportunity. In a move to win Liu Bei his own country, Zhuge Liang quietly begins to act. Cao Cao, your accomplishments have clearly outshone most of my subjects. I think it's fitting that you be appointed Duke of Wei in recognition of your outstanding achievements. I have prepared ten provinces, including Chu and Qing, that you may rule in the name of Wei. Ha <laughs> ha! It shall be my pleasure to accept your generosity. Cao Cao, what else is it? that your heart desires. I simply seek an end to the chaos that has befallen the land. I would be satisfied with that and that alone. <coughs> Congratulations on being appointed Duke of Wei, my lord. Yes. Now I can look to focus on building up our strength once more. We must avenge the defeat we suffered at Chibi. My lord, I know it is too late to change anything, but I must reiterate that I do not support this move. Your path should follow that of the Emperor. As soon as somebody thinks you plan to steal the throne, the land will find itself mired in war once again. Shun E, I want you to look after our administrative efforts in Shu Cheng from now on. My lord, is this? I no longer have any need of your support. You should be relocated to a position that allows you to utilize your talents. Being appointed Duke of Wei, then King of Wei, and ultimately Emperor, that is the quickest way for our Lord to bring an end to the chaos. However, that is merely in regards to us as a nation. If we also consider the hearts and minds of the people, then the dangers you raised are real. Our Lord's influence has already surpassed that of the Emperor. It is clear to any who see his appointment as Duke of Wei. That is exactly why we must decline it. Those who steal their way to power must acknowledge that whatever foundation they create may also be stolen by another. Maybe not now, but eventually. Although we are related, we have very different opinions on a variety of issues. I am content to follow our Lord's chosen path. However, if you feel it to be dangerous, you should notify our Lord as such. I doubt that he will listen to me anymore. I have a feeling he no longer has any need for strategists who will not affirm the choices he makes. It matters not what people think of my talent if I do not have a ruler willing to listen to it, I have no idea how I should proceed. Please take care.
I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Please, come again. Oh, hello again. How are things with you? I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business.
Good timing. You turn me down? All right. I admit, I find you quite it. I admit, I find you. I bring news! Zhou Yu has attacked Jiangling! Our defensive units on the front lines are on the verge of collapse! This is a rather dire situation. Master Cao Cao was just appointed Duke of Wei. We should be celebrating now! Sun Chun, he must be trying to push us back towards the Central Plains. We cannot afford to lose Jiangling as well as Wu Lin. We must hurry to its defense. I wonder if Sun Twen's only objective is to push us back. Certainly, they hope to build on the momentum from their victory at Chibi. However, this move is lacking in sufficient force. They must be working with someone. Hmm. I think Master Shun Yo is onto something. Sun Quan is allied with Liu Bei, and there's Ma Tang in Liang. Zhou Yu has probably contacted one of them. The military faction in Liang province. Ma Teng participated in the plot to assassinate Cao Cao. He's likely to try and stop this coronation as well. We must maintain the defenses at Xu Chang, which means we won't be able to send very many troops to Zhang Ling as reinforcements. just as we were trying to reform our army's ranks, too. 
For now, we should hurry on to Xiangling and aid in its defense. Please forgive my arrogance, but I am here to help. What are you doing here? I thought you were told to remain at Shu Chung. I was. I doubt our lord will ever ask me to accompany him to the battlefield again. However, if we are to overcome this chaos, we need to get through the situation before us. If there is anything I can do to that end, I am going to do it. I understand. In that case, come along with us. You'd better think of an apology to tell Cao Cao. I don't suppose you'll have a problem with that, though. You have my gratitude, Master Shaho Dun. Junyo, it looks like the enemies really got you on the defensive. The Wu army has already crossed the Shengzheng and collapsed our battle lines. Liu Bei's army is currently invading Ba Shu, although he has left some troops in Jing province. As such, he is most likely sending reinforcements to Wu. So Liu Bei continues to meddle in our affairs. I knew we should have dealt with him when we had the chance. Even if we defeat U, we're not likely to emerge victorious. I suppose we should abandon this territory and order a retreat. Yes. Considering the troops we came across, we have no hope at victory. We should withdraw in order to minimize our losses. No, I think we should look to press the attack against U. That will lead to victory. You have some sort of plan? Very well. We shall do as you suggest, Shunyo. Thank you. First, we should rescue our allies that have been isolated. Once we have patched the holes along our front lines, we can launch a coordinated assault. It's a race against time to pare down the enemy forces as much as possible before Liu Bei's army can arrive. It seems Zhou Yu is commanding the... Two forces in this battle. We should defeat him at Shibi and drive them off. I agree with Master Shun U's plan. I will see that we utilize the tactics for the battle. Oh, 
much weaker than this. Yet another officer bows before me. Oh, the thrill of victory can be... Exciting. Well done. You have the heart of a warrior. It would be a mistake. Reinforcements? Thank you. I need to let Lord Jiang Liao know right away. I'm sorry you had to come all this way. Is there something I can do for you? Thank you for these reinforcements to protect the castle. This will... Your abilities are truly a, a defensive battle. There's nothing flashy about that. Well, I'll at least do what I can to stop that. We're a little weak here. All right, I'll defend it. Why is it that my failures always tend to stand out more than my successes? Yet another officer bows before me! Oh, the thrill of victory can be so exciting! An amazing performance! I'm glad we're on the same side. You dare to challenge me? I see you didn't learn your lesson at TV! Your talents have kept us alive thus far. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! <laughs> I let down my guard like that. My lord, please forgive me. Yet another officer bows before me. Oh, the thrill of victory can be so exciting. Appreciate it if you turned around and left quietly. It looks like the Wu officers have decided to stay inside the castle. I need to get those gates open. Ugh. Where's the fun in hiding inside a castle? Why can't we go out there and fight like men? These orders come straight from Master Lu Meng. Don't go doing anything crazy now. Ah, our guys are dropping like flies out there. 
I'm not about enough of this. I'm taking matters into my own hands. I am going to enjoy this. Hey, wait! I said wait! Mr. Lu Meng said for us to... He really is an imbecile. Enemy has marched! So Take them for crap! Uh, Am I having opened their gates? The gates are open? What's going on? The thrill of victory can be so exciting. An amazing performance. I'm glad we're on the same side. Please let Lord Sauron know, too. You seem to be in quite the rush. What happened? The reinforcements have managed to solidify the castle's defenses. Now I can lead the charge against the enemy! them to push us back like this. However, this is as far as they go. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. And we will soon cross the Shang Jung. Us all. We've liberated the pier. Now we can use a ship. Oh! The thrill of victory can be so exciting. Amazing! You sure know how to fight. For the sake of Wu and Master Zhou Yu, I must unleash all of my rage on the field of Jing Province. Indeed, things do look bad. I will not retreat. You're great. We must stop the enemy here, even at the cost of our lives. The enemy 
beasts of bits. Or like a massive rock that easily turns aside the strongest. I will admit my inability. Victory can be so exciting! doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> now, let's give this enemy a good beating! Keep it coming! All right. I need everyone to defend this area.
target has been determined. Capturing that area. <gasps> Jing province is essential to our plan to divide the land in two. We cannot fall back now! I'm here with you, Zhou Yu. Go forth and unleash your passionate spirit on the battlefield. Defend this area! <laughs> Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units, march! <laughs> Officer bows before me. <laughs> Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march. <laughs> <laughs> We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Your talents have kept us alive thus far.
officer bows before me. How were they able to overcome our momentum? I must withdraw for now, so I can think up a new plan. It's to drive them back. What is our next move, Shunu? I think that we should wait for a while. We should be receiving news from the West. We've managed to push back the Wu army to the other side of the Xiongjiang. However, they'll be back once they can get more troops. We're not out of the woods yet. We have just received a report from our scouts. They have spotted an army marching on us from the west. It is being led by Guan Yu. Ugh. Of all the times for Guan Yu to show up. Our forces have been pushed to the brink of exhaustion. It will be difficult to fight another battle. We should hole up in the castle and call for reinforcements. No. Holding up in the castle will not enable us to overcome the current situation. If we remain in Zhongling, we will eventually have to hold off a pincer attack from both Liu Bei and Sun Chuen. With a new enemy to the west, that is impossible. In that case, what should we do? We cannot just sit back and let them take Zhongling. No, we should allow Guan Yu to take Zhang Ling. If we do, there is a chance that it could lead to friction in the alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Xuan. What? Is such a thing even possible? This whole plan is going much too fast for me. Since the Battle of Shibi, Liu Bei's strategist Zhuge Liang has been putting him in a position to eventually face Sun Xuan in battle. Therefore, they are certain to want Jing province as a foothold towards the Central Plains. I cannot imagine that Zhuge Liang would ever give Zhang Ling to Sun Xuan. So, you want to use our current predicament to our advantage and break up the Sun Liao alliance? Impressive as always, Master Shun Un. Okay, let's move to enact Shun Yo's plan. Withdraw the army to Xiongyang and Xin Ye. If Liu Bei and Sun Xuan's alliance continues to hold up, it will put Master Cao Cao's plans in danger. However, this plot can enable us to avoid that. It is exactly what we need given the situation. Now, let us return to Xu Chong. There is one more thing I must attend to. We worked hard to defend this land, and to now turn it over to the enemy? I know this is all part of our plan, but it hurts all the same. Sao Shou, you are right to feel that way. Yet, that is also the reason that Sun Xuan and they will not think that we abandoned Jiang Ling on purpose. Shun Er's plot might just serve as the basis for our future endeavors. Hmm? I thought I heard something. My lord! Watch out! Sure. Let's out, out. 
Brigand who seeks the throne. Your selfish arrogance ends here. So, you're Matang of the Unprovence. I never expected you to launch an attack on Shu Chang. Oh, is this too much for you? side of this conflict shall pay by my sword of righteousness. <laughs> Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Advance! Do not slow down! Advance! Advance! <laughs> Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! Oops. Looks like I messed up. I think discretion is the better part of valor here. We can't defeat Cao Cao! Maybe not! But we aren't going to give up either! Chase him down! Let him go. Ma Tang will learn that his assassination attempt failed soon enough. They'll likely follow up by sending an army from Liang province. Ma Tang's son is the renowned warrior Ma Chao. We must prepare our army and head to Luo Yang. Yes, my lord. I shall see to it at once. Good timing. You turn me down.
It appears Ma Chao and his forces are on the attack. What is the situation like, Wan Yi? Ma Chao, Han Sui, and some others have taken up position at Tong Gate. We attacked them head-on, but were forced to retreat. Currently, we are bolstering our defenses at Luoyang and Pubanjin. I must apologize for failing to hold off Ma Chao. No, I ought to be the one apologizing to you for being so late with the reinforcements! I know why you were unable to come, General. It is not your fault. You ensured that we received the necessary supplies, Master Shaho Yuan. I must thank you. Ah, stop. You're making me blush. We'll take care of Ma Chao. So sit back, get some rest, you hear? I cannot do that. Now that I am relieved of defending Luo Yang, this is my chance to claim Ma Chao's head at last. I see. If that's how you feel, then I suppose it's all right. We are facing a mighty coalition. It would be best if we could somehow drive a wedge between them to weaken their forces. The morale of the troops in front of us is unbelievably high. It will be quite difficult to push them back. How about the north side of Tong Gate? If we could cross the Yellow River, we could strike the enemy from behind. So, we can attack head-on, or cross the river and strike from behind. Either way, it will likely prove to be a difficult battle. However, with Liu Bei currently in Shu, and Sun Xuan in Wu, we must deal with any potential threats before they become a problem. Ma Chao and his followers may have momentum on their side, but we will emerge victorious. Take care. Master Joshu seems to have a plan. It may help us get through our current predicament. have a brilliant plan, but nobody to execute it. It would be nice if we could get some help here. <laughs> Thank you. I simply need you to deliver this letter to Han Sui. He will know what to do. 
Now then, it's time to get going. If this goes as planned, the battle will quickly turn in our favor. Traded the enemy camp all alone. But it seems you have little intention of fighting. Oh, I see. You're here as a mess. What's that? Oh, I see. Master Cao Cao is an old acquaintance of mine. Your letter has been safely delivered. Did you see that? Yes, I saw it all. We need to hurry and report this to Lord Ma Chao. Report! Lord Han Sui appears to have made contact with the Wei officer. Surely he hasn't betrayed us. Perhaps it will be dangerous to leave Master Han Sui at Hangu Gate. Send a message to Master Han Sui. Tell him he is to move at once to defend the rear of Tong Gate. The Lord Han Sui! A message from Lord Ma Chao. He needs you back at Tong Gate. What? We are to retreat? They must suspect me of treason because I was seen talking with that messenger from Wei. I hope Ma Chao will be prepared to listen to my explanation. But if not, I may have to consider the option of defecting to Wei.
figured Wei might bypass the Yellow River and come this way instead. I can tell that you are no ordinary officer. However, it will not change the outcome of this encounter. Hold the advance. We shall take up a defensive position here. Let us go capture that area. We shall make it a thing of beauty. I failed my duty. Forgive me, Master Machado. I have no excuse. It can be so exciting! Lord Machao! They are planning to cross the river and attack our rear! No, no way! There's nowhere for us to run now! Hmm. The soldiers are frightened. But, I will never bow before the sun. Like 
Victory can be so exciting. I can't take my eyes off of you. You carry yourself so gracefully. Prepare yourself, Cao Cao. I will purge this land of the evil which you bring. Fight me! I will never allow Wei to seize Guanzhou, and I will never allow you to control this land. I refuse to forgive anyone who picks on Lord Cao Cao. I'll take care of him myself. Report! Lord Chen Yi, Lord Ma Wen, defeated! The Wei forces are closing in! Ma Chao has sent me to the rear of our forces. No matter how valiantly I fight here, you will never believe I am innocent. Ma Chao, sorry about this, but you gave me no choice. I will defect! All forces, strike Ma Chao from behind! So, Han Sui has betrayed us after all, and sending him to the rear has backfired spectacularly. The enemy is going to attack us here! Everyone, prepare to defend! This fox! Ready for this? Uh, that 
area shall be ours. Claim it at once. Impossible. How could I be defeated? This is not over yet. <laughs> Look around you. It's over. You'll never beat Ray, no matter how hard you try. Yeah. We may have tasted defeat here today, but I will never surrender. I have inherited my father's spirit of loyalty to the Han. You are a traitor, so I will not rest until I have your head. He remains defiant following his defeat, but the truth is that Ma Chao's clan and the other warriors of Liang have nearly been eliminated. They will not rise again. Perfect. We could not ask for a better result from this battle. However, if you tell me you wish to pursue him, Wang Yi, I will not stop you. I know that pursuing him is a suicide mission. I saw the look of despair in his eyes. That is enough to tide me over for now. Besides, I need him to know the sense of loneliness and misery of being all alone. In that case, there is nothing left to say. We have driven off Ma Chao and prevented their attack on Xu Cheng. Now, it is time for us to take the offensive. Our target is Wu's territory of Rushuku. This is where we claim vengeance for Chibi. A portion of and is advancing on Rushuku. We may be able to take U's base of Zhang Ye with a concentrated attack. However, considering the enemy reinforcements heading to Zhang Ye, as well as Liu Bei's next move after taking Bashu, we cannot afford to waste any time. Agreed. Xun Yo. I notice you have become rather perceptive since our defeat at Chibi. You are proving to be an indispensable part of our forces. We must quickly capture Rushiku and then take down Jian Ye. The enemy may still have some tricks left up their sleeves. Be careful out there, everyone. I shall charge into the enemy camp! and cut open a path to victory! Ah! I have a feeling I'm supposed to join the effort to take down Zhang Ye. Leave our strategy to me. I want to make sure things go our way this time. We have managed to mitigate the threat posed by Liang Province. Now is our chance to repay Sun Quan for the defeat we suffered at Chi Bi.